Hey, I recently bought some fabrics to work on. This printed cotton and the striped shirting fabric. I decided to make this simple dropless dress with the printed cotton as a sewed more fitted for the design. This style is from the 1920s where the waists were dropped for more practical and comfortable garments, as opposed to previous times where garments were constricting and just impractical really. I don't know how they survived, but then again that's just how it was then. They probably liked it, those who could afford these expensive garments, that is. So mine is a fitted dress to the hips, at which point I have a gathered piece for the lower part. You can design it however you want, circular, glittered or like mine. I started by tracing out the size 12 close fitting block. There is a video where I show you how to make a close fitting bodice block, it's going to be in the description. I then adapted it by lowering and widening the neckline just a bit. 3 inches lowered and 1 inch, wide, one inch <laughs> widened for the front, then 1 inch lowered and widened for the back. I added waist shaping in form of darts, then contoured them for a better fit. Contouring is shaping the darts in a way that fits your body curves. The arm side needed to be lowered half an inch which I did, and then curved it back smoothly to the armhole. I also moved the shoulder dart to the mid shoulder, then separated the pattern for the front. I separated the back as well. For the back waist dart, I only contoured the lower part of the dart so the dress did not gape. Facings are needed for finishing the edges unless you decide on another method like bias binding. I traced the upper sections of the bodies for the facings. The bodice length was until the hips, then I drafted the gathered part, which was my hip width, then 20 inches added to it. I drafted cap sleeves to make the dress more comfortable for me. I like sleeveless dresses too, but sometimes I like my arms covered just a bit. I added seam allowance and then cut the pattern pieces out. I joined the princess seams together then the front and the back. The facing pieces were separately stitched and then joined to the neckline of the bodice. I then gathered the lower piece, distributed the gathers evenly and joined it to the bodice to the, to the body top. I stitched the cap sleeves at the sides then joined them to the dress. Then I did the final finishes such as hemming and adding the zip and I was done. I'm really impressed with how it turned out, the fit of it, the design, the versatility since I can wear it to various occasions and dress it up or down. I definitely get I'll definitely get a lot of wear out of this one. Unfortunately, I did not wash the fabric prior to cutting it to see whether it shrinks too much or not. I'm always too excited to start working on a new project immediately. Hopefully it doesn't, and if it does, I'll just have to let the seams out a bit. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe for more videos and like it if you do. Bye.